Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome to our replay of Africa Corps. Things look pretty dire at the end of episode 3 for the Axis forces, and they, they look pretty dire at the end of episode 2 for the Axis forces, but they're still hanging in there. The big question as we enter, ep enter episode 4 is can they survive two more months, or is this the end? Let's jump in and take a look, and giving the Axis forces a little bit of life might be the fact that Mike Morgan posted down in the comments on the previous episode that we made an easily fixable mistake that actually might save one of their larger armored units. So let's jump right in, take a look at our mistake, play out the next two months, and see if this truly is the end of Erwin Rommel in North Africa. One thing to consider before we start out, just to kind of paint a picture of how hopeless the German situation quite is, to understand that we're fighting, where we're gonna be showing the action today is down here in this bottom left-hand corner of the map. And in order for the Axis to win, they have to take, they have to hold their current position, take the fortress in Benghazi, take the fortress in Tobruk, and also take the fortress, the allied home base in Alexandria in order to, order to win. So while the Axis are fighting for survival in the bottom left-hand corner of the map, their path to victory is even harder. Let's zoom in on the action down by Aguila and see if we can correct the two errors that we made. I noticed in editing the previous video that I, f I skipped a supply roll for the Axis forces, so I did that off camera between episodes and they passed that, and so I've added that into Tripoli, putting the Axis at full supply. The other error, however, was of a much larger nature. After the Allied forces drove back this Italian infantry division, we advanced the 22nd Guards Brigade. However, Mike Morgan pointed out in the comments that you can only advance in this game if you've defeated forces in escarpment or fortresses. You can't do it if it's in clear terrain. I'm not sure quite why, it doesn't seem to make sense to me, but it's an easily fixable error, and so if we can have an easily fixable error, we're gonna take advantage of it. So I'm gonna move this unit back, which gives us the correct position for the end of the last episode. That is really important because that means that this armored unit is no longer out of supply and the Axis forces can rescue it. So with that, mind, with that being said, let's jump in and get started off with October of 1941. Let's do our turn 13, October 1941 first event here. See what happens now. All is calm, no special effects this turn. This would have been a good time for the Axis uh, to, they would have actually benefited from some sort of inclement weather that might have impacted attack, but that is not to be, so let's drive on. As we start out in October of 1941, it's important to remember that the Axis have significant reinforcements coming in in the beginning of November. So their goal really is to survive these next two, this next month, so that they can get those reinforcements in. Now the Allies have reinforcements coming in in November as well. They're actually more and uh, more reinforcements and more powerful than the Axis ones, but they're going to have to commit it to Brook, which means they're probably a month of travel away before they reach the front lines here. So with that being said, the goal for the Axis forces is survive October, hope for November's reinforcements to turn the tide a little bit. With that being said, we're gonna pull back this armored unit, pull back our other armored unit, pull forward our Italian infantry brigade, and draw a line a little bit back, back where it was from before. The Allied forces, still following the mandate of Winston Churchill, are going to continue to press the attack. The key will be if they can knock out this Italian infantry division, that might break a line through the Axis forces. They haven't had luck doing that so far, but they're going to try again as we roll into the beginning of October. The Allied forces again advance. They're going to perform three straightforward attacks. These three one-powered infantry brigades are going to attack the armor at one to three odds. Likewise, a similar attack to the south. And then the concentration of their forces, the armored units here and two infantry brigades for a total of eight, are going to attack this Italian infantry division at a defense of two, giving them four to one odds. And they're going to start with this attack. A defender eliminated result would help the Allies tremendously. Two. Exchange. That's not bad for the Allies either. The exchange sees this Italian infantry division eliminated. It also sees we can remove these, uh, let's take this one here, this infantry brigade for the British, leaving a gap in the German forces. Next, we'll do the three against seven attack, one against three. So far, the Allies have had incredible luck with these soak-off attacks. Let's see what happens with this one. 
six, attacker eliminated. The Allies' luck changes. It's a tough result for the Allies. These three infantry brigades are eliminated. Let's do the three against seven, one against three attack to the south. Three, attacker back two. A better result for the Allies this time. The Axis pushed back these three infantry brigades. Supply unit is consumed. The first half of October 1941 comes to an end. The Axis suffer losses. The Allies take some heavy casualties as well. Let's draw our event for the back half of 1941. Moderate sandstorms. All movement this turn is reduced by three, and each attack suffers a minus two reduction to its total attack total. This could hamper the Allies' efforts. The Axis are at full supply, so once again we don't make a supply roll. The question is whether we want to consider attacking these British forces here, but the best the Axis can get is a two to one attack. So with that in mind, two to one attacks aren't necessarily a good choice for the Axis right now. We're gonna have them push back, push back and move their line back just a little bit. Also, because they don't need this infantry unit in Tripoli for supply rolls, they're gonna move this infantry unit forward, fill that hole that they lost in the last turn. For the Allied forces, the sandstorms tilt the odds in the Axis' favor. Makes no sense for the Allies to attack this turn. It would be suicide. Instead, they're going to drop their defensive lines. With Axis reinforcements on the way, the Allies shift their defenses to make this defensive position along the coast a little bit stronger. The Axis have made it to November of 1941. Their reinforcements are on the way. Let's start the month with an event. Coastal turbulence. Supply units are delayed one turn. So each side will have two possible supply units next turn. If this follows expedited shipping, there is no effect. This is actually good for both sides, as both sides are at full supply. So they'll be able to, for the Axis forces, they'll be able to check twice to see if they could resupply in next turn. The Axis are in full supply and have reinforcements arriving at Tripoli that they can use on this turn. Given this, and given the fact that British reinforcements will be storming westward as well, it's imperative that if the Axis to have any chance, They've got to do some damage in this next month. The Axis will launch an attack. The Axis are going to concentrate their attack on the British positions on the north end of their line. Taking two armored reg regiments and an infantry division combined with another Italian infantry division to get 18 to six or three to one odds against this stack. To balance that attack out, they've got reinforcements, infantry and infantry attacking five against four on this stack here as a soak off. We'll start with a three to one attack first. A good result here could actually give the Axis hope of breaking out. Five, exchange. That's not a positive result for the Axis. The Allied forces are wiped out. Their strongest armored brigade as well as two infantry brigades are gone for a total of six points. The only way for the Axis to effectively balance that out with the exchange is with the loss of one of their strongest armored regiments. It's a grim result for the Axis. Next up, will carry out this one-to-one -one attack on this other British formation. One-to-one -one attacks strongly favor the defender. Oh. A five is an attacker eliminated. The Axis lose the Italian infantry division that attacked as well as this infantry regiment that just arrived as reinforcements. Looking at the casualties for the front half of November in the Axis turn, it's been a heavy casualties along the battlefront this month. As the Allies launch into November of 1941, reinforcements arrive in the city of Tobruk. They'll start moving westward at full speed. On the front lines, the strongest Allied unit left is this 22nd Guards unit with an attack factor of two. The Allies really don't have any chance to attack. They're gonna pull back and wait for their stronger reinforcements to arrive. The Allies withdraw as the first half of November 1941 comes to a close. Let's draw our event for the back half of November 1941. All is calm, no impact on the turn. Because of the coastal turbulence event from the last turn, the Axis forces will have two rolls to bring in their last supply unit. Four, five, or six, and it arrives. A one, two, or three, and it is sunk. The first attempt is sunk and sunk. The Axis actually have enough strength in the back half of November to get off a pretty good attack on the front point position of this British defense. So they're gonna to try to push that minor advantage before the reinforcements arrive. With an armored regiment and two in supporting infantry, the Axis forces can actually get a 12 to four or three to one attack against this point position. Three, 
Defender back two. It's not a positive result that the Axis were hoping for. They really needed to wipe these units out. They'll push them back too, but it doesn't really have an impact on the battle. The British will get a chance to respond in the back half of November. With barely any attack strength, there's not much the Allies can do. They'll rearrange their defensive lines and continue to bring their reinforcements forward. Near Aguila, the Allied forces just rearrange their lines and continue to wait for their reinforcements. Speaking of which, to the north, the Allied forcements have arrived and passed Benghazi. They should arrive at the front lines next turn. That brings us to the end of episode four, and things continue to look hopeless for the Axis forces. I don't think it's a question of if, it's more of a question of when, with reinforcements for the Allies streaming down from the north, and those, the, the hoped for German and Axis reinforcements that poured in and promptly mostly got wiped out. It's definitely, it, it doesn't look like there's much hope. I mean, the Axis do have reinforcements coming in February, but it's only three infantry regiments. It's not much. Their next big chunk of reinforcements don't arrive until June. And I can't imagine they're still around since then. But let me know what you think down in the con comments. I'm kind of having fun just seeing how long they can hold on. I mean, can we last for another three or four months as the Axis forces, or is this pretty much going to end in the next turn or so? Let me know what you think as to how long we think we can hang on with the Axis forces. As well, um, as well, any comments, ideas, suggestions are greatly appreciated. Thanks again to people who have pointed out rule errors or brought up strategy ideas or questioned things on the rules too. That helps me learn the game better as well. We'll uh, continue on until the end here, the bitter end. We're going to just see how long the Axis forces can survive. My guess is it's going to be another episode or two then we'll pick up something else after that but as always if you've enjoyed the episode please give it a thumbs out it helps out tremendously and if you're new please consider subscribing we'll see you in episode five for perhaps the axis swan song or will they manage to hold on yet again only time will tell take care